Hello everyone. Today we are going to see an interesting Azure use case. The use case is read a CSV file from Azure Blob Storage using Spark Pool in Azure Synapse Analytics. The prerequisites for this use case are you need to have a CSV file to read the data. You need to have an active Azure Synapse Analytics workspace and a Spark Pool which is up and running. The steps for implementing this use case are first we need to upload the file inside the container in Azure Blob Storage. Next we need to grant the storage blob data contributor access to the user for the container. The next step is to create a notebook in Azure Synapse Analytics to read the CSV file. The last step is to run the notebook to view the data. These steps will make more sense when we do the practical implementation. I am in my Azure portal. My first step is to create a container in my storage account. Here is my storage account. Inside my storage account, I am going to create a new container. I am going to name my container as daily logs. Daily logs. My container is created. Inside my container, in the root directory, I am going to upload my CSV file. Upload my CSV file. I am going to upload the daily log CSV file. My CSV file is uploaded. Next, we need to grant the storage blob data contributor access to the user for this particular container. For this, I will log in to the IAM which is Identity Access Management. Inside that, I am going to click Add. Next, I am going to select Add Role Assignment and add the member by clicking the Select Members and select the member and select. Now the member is added. Now let me go to the roles and select storage blob data contributor. Storage blob data contributor and click review and assign. Let me click review and assign again. Now we have granted the storage blob data contributor access to the user for the daily logs container. Now let me go to Synapse Analytics homepage and see if my Spark session is up and running. Let me go to manage. Here my Spark session is up and running. Now let me create a notebook and read the CSV file. Let me click develop and create a notebook. I am going to name the notebook as read CSV. Let me connect to my Spark pool. The first step is to import the Spark session from PySpark dot SQL import Spark session. Next, we have to declare the storage account name. I am going to name the variable as account and I am going to declare the storage account name. My storage account name is DLFAITUS and my container name is daily logs.
and the file name is daily sales log dot csv now i am going to create a path variable read path which reads the files from azure blob storage file system and i am going to pass the storage account name the container name and the file name as parameter my first parameter is the container name the container name is passed in the variable container the second parameter is the account name i am going to pass this in the account variable and next i am going to pass the file name here now let me print the path here is our azure blob storage file system path we'll be using this path in the data frame script to read the csv file let me do that i'm going to name my data frame as df equal to spark dot read dot options in my csv file there is a header so i am going to have header as true my csv file is comma delimited file so i am going to mention option as delimiter as comma dot csv here i am going to mention the path now i am going to display the data frame df display df let me run this here is the content of the csv file i hope you like this video and i am sure that you learned something new today i will see you in yet another use case thank you